Hello, hey hi everyone. Welcome back to the next session of SAP Aware One Hundred Training Series, and thank you for choosing ZK Two Tutorials. So, guys, in the previous session, we have discussed about the AMDP. Before that, we have already discussed about the CDS views. Let me show you in a second. So, in the just last session, we have discussed about the AMDP. We have discussed some some examples also. So, in the today's session. We will discuss about something which is known as one second. So in this today session, we will discuss about the CDS table function. I hope some of you might be aware of this. Some of you might be this one is new. So if in the single term, I will tell you in this session we will discuss about the definition and. We will create a simple CDS view, and then in the next session we will discuss about why we came up with the concept of known as CDS table function. Why do we use this? Okay, same like this. So what is this CDS table function? In the simple words, if I will tell you the CDS table function, if someone will come up and ask you, you can normally say CDS table function is a combination of CDS views. And AMDP method, right? We cannot write any logic in the inside the CDS view, and we cannot call the AMDP. Simple. We cannot directly call means. I'm what I'm. No, I'm not saying that we cannot call AMDP. We can call AMDP through the driver program, through the main program. We can call. But there is some one concept of CDS table function, which is the CDS table function, which is the what is that? Is it a combination of CDS views and AMD? So, in this session, we will see how can we create the CDS table function and all of those things. Okay, so what is the CDS table function? Normally, you can say it's a combination of CDS views and AMD views. The capabilities, which the things which we cannot do through the CDS views and AMDP for writing the complex logic, we cannot write in CDS view guys. Simply, we can do aggregation, we can fetch the data, we can fetch the data from different different table, we can do the association joins, but we cannot do the complex calculations over there. I will show you the more use case of the CDS table function. So, the CDS table function is defined how similar to Similar to CDS, okay. Similar to CDS, which is defined as the same, okay. But here we don't write any select statement. No, no, we write select statement. But here the difference is only for data source. Right? That is what I am saying is we give the we create a field list, okay. Similar to CDS views. I will show you the difference between the CDS table function and CDS view. Okay, here inside this CDS table function function, we write data fetching logic inside AMDP method. Okay, so we have already discussed about this AMDP in our previous session. Okay, so this is what the CDS table function. How can we create the CDS? We can create the CDS table function using syntax. What is the syntax, guys? Syntax is define table function. And here in the here, I will give my table function name. Okay, table function name. Okay, and inside this, once again, and We can give set of input parameters. Input parameters also parameters. Okay, means we can give like parameters also as we have seen CDS use with parameters also. Okay, we can give a set of input parameters also and return fields. Okay, so here we can mention this with the help of data type. Okay, one important thing, guys. By default, CDS are uh, by default a uh, 
एक्सटीरियर स्टेबल फंक्शन इज अलाइन डिपेंडेंट वट इज दिस मीन आई विल सो यू जस्ट वेट ऑन दैट ओके okay so by default um uh, cvs stable function is a client dependent okay means i will show you means first field it means what does this mean is it means first field should be client field okay so this is all about cvs stable function so without wasting time guys let's quickly login let me login to the system and create one cvs table function okay so okay here the process is i will show you before that okay uh, if you see there again. so guys okay so before that i will show you one more thing first we create and activate the table function then we create and implement the class okay so this is all about what our cds use so this is the table function okay guys let's give me a moment yeah let me open okay there is already one system open once again guys uh let me close this up this we have already discussed in our previous session this call amdp how to update the each standard table through this amdp in second what is the issue issues give me a moment let me log in again yes so firstly we will create the table function and then we will go and create and implement our amdp class and method okay so okay now it's loaded finally we are in now one second guys let me close this up so that this thing we are not of my use uh -huh. okay yeah let me log into the system now you will enter enter the password We have finally logged in. I will go to the just. I will right click there. Okay. I will go to new. I will go to the repository object. Then we have to select the core data services only from here. Data definition. I will select data definition. I will select this. Click for next. Okay. I will give my table function name. Let's say z table function. Let's check. CDS, new CDS table function. I will click on X. I will go to show this also. Then I will click on X. Here, if I will go, I have to select something known as define table function with parameter. So what does this say? CDS table function with imposing parameter. The CDS table function is implemented in the specified ABAP method. Where it will be. Implement this inside our AMDP ABAP method. The CDS table function can be used in OpenSQL and the data source in other CDS use. So we can use this table function in another CDS use also. Finally, we will configure this. So we create a template of this CDS table function. Okay. And one more thing, guys. Sometimes what will happen is now for me this. template is already come okay for example for some of you of my i have seen like for some of the people this template will not come okay which is what we have to do is i will just click on control space bar so here from here you can select your template directly from here okay 
So this is how you can do this. Okay. Yeah. So like this. Okay. I hope this is clear, guys. So this is my same normal. This is my uh, description. This is my define table function. This is my table function here. Here, if I want to give the input parameters, I can give this or I can comment this out. As I mentioned before, like this CDS table function is a client dependent. So, as I mentioned also there, like it means first field should be a client field. Here, if I will go, you can see something known as client field is already coming from here. Okay. Now, what I will do is I will just remove this and let's say I will say it as a client. Okay. And this here in the right hand side, I will give you my data type name. Okay. Nothing new. In the element name, let's say I want to fetch the uh, let's say I want to fetch the EBLN, okay? I want to fetch the purchase document number from the e EB, EKPO, EKKO table, okay? Let me say here as EBLN and I will give the type here as EBLN, okay? Once again, EBLN, okay? So let's give my data element also. Now, this is saying it. Okay, now here you can see something known as implemented by methods. Here, what I will do is I will give my class name. Look, till now I have not created any class. Okay, but this is the functionality of this CDS table function. Before activate, uh, look, sorry, before creating the class, we can activate this CDS table function also. Right, I will show you. I will go there and let's say GCL. Uh, I will say something known as GCL table underscore function okay here in the method name i will give it is get uh, let's say i uh, get po details okay and you can see something known as here we have written the equals to it means this is my static method okay now i will not i will do nothing guys nothing i will show you inside this input parameters i will also show you how can we achieve this using this okay I will click on save. Okay. I will finally save this, check this, and then finally activate this. So, guys, in the below, you can see it's finally activated. Look, so, till now we have not created this PCJ table. I will okay, look, I'm doing control space, but nothing is coming. Why? Because look, we have not created this and it still is support activated. So before moving more to the CDS table function, there is one more concept which comes up, which is known as guys. Uh, I will show you where. Which is known as AMDP function. What is this AMDP function, guys? And second AMDP. Uh, I think everyone of you might know, know about this AMDP. What is this AMDP? So it's a, like a, uh, you can say a container on our application layer which contains the SQL, SQL, SQL language. Okay. This, that is what our, this uh, AMDP is. Okay. Now, if I will tell you here, we will discuss in depth about this. So I will tell you some functionality of this AMDP. We can only give importing and returning parameters. Okay, I will show you more about this in the depth. Okay, how can you declare this? I will show you just now. Let me go there. One more thing, guys, I was showing you like this field is mandatory. Why I was saying you let me say control X. Okay, save this. Look, there is some error is converted. This thing is Z table function is marked as a client specific. Okay. So EBLN as position one is character. Okay. EBLN is over at first position, which is care type, but note of type client. So for we have to give here our client field as client at the first. Now you will see it will be wrong. I will finally activate this. Okay. About this guys, we will discuss in depth. Okay. This AMDP function. Now let's create a class. I will directly right click new. I can copy this name. It's the same name you have to create. No, I don't have an option from there. 
So I will give the class name guys and we'll give the CTS table function class. Okay, I will fill up on next. I will finally fill up on finish. Okay, so inside this, what firstly create that this as an MDP class. How can we create this? Give the interface is if underscore MDP underscore marker underscore HDB, which is by HDB, guys. This is by Anadb. Okay. What is this saying here? Okay, sorry. We have to give this inside the one something known as visibility area. Okay. Now I will give here the which method I will to give here, guys. I will give this equals to because this one is equals to. So what I will do here is we have to give here the as my static method. Okay. So what I will do is just give me a moment, guys. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will give my method name. Oh yeah, okay, class data. So class methods. Now what is my method name here? This is my method name. And in second. Okay, this is my method name. What we used to do, we used to give here importing, exporting, but here we don't have to do anything. We just for do for table function, give your table function name directly here. Copy this, let me copy this. Okay, so I will give this. So whatever the importing parameter, here you can see this will be my importing parameter and this will be my returning parameter. So they will behave here as the importing and X report returning parameters over there. Okay. Now I will go there and I will implement this method. What I will do is method get underscore PO underscore detail for database. What we used to do previously database procedure. But here what I will do is I will give here the database function. Why I will be I'm giving a database function? I will let you because oh, one common difference I will tell you here. Uh, so, okay, okay, I will tell you later only once. Okay, let me finish this for database function. Okay, for HDB. HDB. Sorry, guys, we have to be aware by database function for HDB language SQL script and options read only. Because we want to read only which table I want to use here. Let's say I want to use here an ETQ table. Okay. That's all. Okay. Now I will put this as end method. I will say directly return. This is my SQL language. Okay. Return select. What is my first field, guys? Client. I will write here as MANG as client. Okay, one second, sorry, comma. Then my second field is EBLN, okay, EBELN, Chrome, Chrome, VBA, okay, semicolon. That's all what we have to do over here, okay, Chrome, sorry, Chrome, EKKO, okay, this is what we have to do. That's all, guys, okay. I will save this, I will finally check this, and then activate this. Okay, so it's finally activated. I will go back to my system. I will again activate this, but no need of this. I will execute this. You can see it's fetching my EBLN, which is purchasing document number, it's fetching my this detail. Okay, I hope this concept is clear to everyone, guys. How to create a table function, how can we achieve this? So, that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, we will discuss about this, guys. Main, uh, my main focus will be on this. What is the main difference between AMDP function? Okay, let me mention here only. AMDP function, it will be a big fight with you both, with an AMDP procedure. What is the main difference between that? So we will discuss in the depth in a different session on this. Okay. So don't get confused. Just 
uh, watch my next session okay wait till then we will meet there again okay i hope guys this one is clear to everyone uh, okay that's all for this session have a good day bye bye